All right, the Model 3 is now in hand. I have the aero wheels on, and I'm out here on a country road about to test out different speeds to see what the lowest watt per mile is. And uh, once we figure that out, then I'll be good to start the trip tomorrow. There's actually a few more things I need to do as well, like get some food uh, for the trip, and I need to print out that sign on the back of the, uh, that I'll put on the back of the glass that says test or maybe testing or something like that. But uh, I'm about to start the, the testing for most efficient speed. Let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna start off with 20 miles per hour and I'll drive for five miles straight. What I'll probably do is turn off the AC. In fact, let's do that right now. Boom. Okay, we're gonna turn off the AC. I'll probably use cruise control because I think I'll use that on the trip tomorrow. Okay, so I'm driving 20 miles an hour, and this feels really, really slow. I've got the hazards on, I'm gonna see here. So 20 miles an hour, hazards on. I believe there's a, there's a car coming up behind me, so what I'll do is I'll probably um, just kind of pull over to the, to the, um, pull over to the side here. I'll keep going, but I'll pull over to make it easy for the car to pass me. But 20 miles an hour, that's pretty slow. <laughs> this is so funny. This is going to be a boring trip. All right, got the car coming up behind me. Just pulling off to the side here. And the car should pass me pretty easily, hopefully. And here comes the car. Yep, there we go. Hopefully that's how it goes for the trip tomorrow. All right, so we've gone just over half a mile and uh, we're at 209 watts per mile. All right, so here's the first sample set. I've traveled five miles, used one kilowatt hour <laughs> in that distance and used 176 watts per mile. Uh, what I wanna do is drive back to where I started before and then I'm gonna try 25 miles an hour and we'll use we'll see if it's greater or less than 176 watts per mile. We're ready for sample set two at 25 miles an hour. And also might be helpful to point out that I've turned regenerative braking on low and acceleration on chill. So I think that that should use less energy, especially in this case where I'm going slower speeds. So let's start sample set two at 25 miles an hour. All right, we are now cruising at 25 miles an hour. Feels a lot better than 20 miles an hour, that's for certain. So I really hope that the efficiency is better at 25 than 20 because it'll make the trip go faster. And it would be cool if 30 miles an hour is even more efficient. So far, so good. Data set number two is in. Look what we got here. Five miles, one kilowatt. So. 25 miles an hour is actually more efficient. 166 watts per mile, only one kilowatt hour used, same distance. All right, so we're gonna head back to the same spot and try out 30 miles an hour. All right, third data point, 30 miles an hour. As expected, feels much better than 25. So we're gonna go five miles and see what the efficiency is. No freaking way. No way, look, 30 miles an hour is even more efficient. We're at 163, that is freaking amazing. Okay, let's turn back around. We're gonna bump it up to 35 miles an hour and see if we see an increase in watts per mile. All right, here we go with the fourth data set, set which is 35 miles an hour. So I think we found our most efficient speed 35 miles an hour has ticked back up from 30 miles an hour. So we've got five miles driven, one kilowatt hour used, and 168 watts per mile. Okay, so I wanna do one more test, which is 30 miles an hour with autopilot engaged. Will autopilot use more energy than the 163 watts per mile that I got with just cruise control on? 
let's test that out because if I can use autopilot the whole way there at 30 miles an hour, I think it's gonna make the drive a little bit easier. So let's test that out. We've got autopilot engaged at 30 miles an hour. I guess I will have to take over if there's a car that's coming up behind me because I do want to move over to the shoulder uh, to remove or eliminate any confusion on what I'm doing and what the person behind me needs to do. But for now, we're going to test out autopilot at 30 miles an hour and see if we can beat the, or see if we can at least um, equal the 163 watts per mile. Because if we can, then I think having autopilot engaged on this trip tomorrow will be super helpful. Hey, okay. so yes, the answer is yes, autopilot does use a little bit more energy uh, with just cruise control. It's 163 watts per mile. With autopilot, it's 173. Interesting. I want to give a big shout out and thanks to Carissa, who I'm renting the Model 3 from through Turo. She's a friend of mine, used to work with her at an old company, and she gladly, without hesitation, uh, was willing to allow me to do this hypermile test adventure across three states. If you're in Colorado or you're in Denver and you want to rent a Model 3, I'll put Carissa's link in the description so you can check that out. There you have it, 163 watts per mile is the most efficient traveling at 30 miles an hour, and boy am I glad because 25 miles an hour is a little bit slower, so hopefully I'll get to my end destination quicker. I hope you like this video. If you're interested in following my Model 3 Hypermile journey, please hit that subscribe button and turn on that bell notification so when I do go live on YouTube and when I publish a new video about the Hypermile experience or adventure, you'll get notified immediately. Thanks for tuning in and see you on the Hyper Mile Adventure tomorrow.